DEI, or diversity, equity, inclusion, is an effort to try to make an organization or maybe the community and society more welcoming to everybody. What ASCARS has done over the past 25 years, it was quite limited in the very first part of that 25 years. There was a women's luncheon that did provide networking opportunities and encouragement for women uh, at younger faculty levels, medical students and residents to see role models or to network to encourage them. Probably as in most societies after the George Floyd incident, there was recognition of all the work that needed to be done to include diverse populations in a specialty society. What DEI means to ASCRS is inclusion. It really means making sure that everyone gets involved bolstering the people who may not come with the same advantages that other people do, and being sure that the environment and the culture is welcoming and allows them to feel included. We know that inclusion, diversity, equity does not just pertain to race. It's not just a black or white thing. We're talking about gender. We're talking about sexual orientation and preferences. We're talking about years in practice, geographic location type of practice. It benefits the organization in that we hear more from a diverse portion of our membership and therefore we learn more, we get more creative ideas, we can be more innovative. But also it allows us to deliver better care to patients because we all serve a diverse population of patients. So to promote DEI in terms of membership, what we did was ensure that we started keeping track of who we are. There's a DEI committee, an engagement committee that have both been focused on efforts to make people feel more included in all aspects of the society. When you sign up as a member or fellow of ASCRS, we wanna know who our membership is. There's also been a pathway program developed to help encourage young people at the high school, college, and medical school level to consider surgery as a specialty and specifically colorectal surgery to introduce those students who may not have had any exposure to that or a belief that that was something that they could possibly do. The society has also worked to be more inclusive in terms of committee structure, membership, and leadership roles. 25 years ago, I can tell you it was a tap on the shoulder and it was who you knew or who was going to advocate for you. If you didn't know somebody who was in a position to do that, your chances of being on a committee or attaining a leadership role were slim to none. So in terms of committees, one of the things that the organization has done is incorporate the concept of DEI as it pertains to the committee on committees. So now, you know, definitely instead of being tapped to be on a committee just because you know someone or you know someone who knows someone. We're really taking a deep dive in who's participating in the committee. And that pertains to what we were speaking about before, diversity of age, race, gender, level of training or years in practice, geographic location, so we can ensure that all voices are heard with respect to the entire membership for the committee. For the committee process, in addition to an open call so that anyone can volunteer to be on a committee, there is a committee on committees as part of the executive council that reviews those applications and tries to ensure that people who have not had previous opportunities are able to obtain membership. And while leadership still is based on how well you do the work and how you participate, it at least opens the door to many more people. The DEI committee, in combination with the engagement committee, came together to create guidelines so that any educational content or any sort of content at all created on behalf of the ASCRS is cognizant of the issues as it pertains to the audience, the moderators, the presenters, the content, to address everyone equally um, or as equally as possible. So we want to make sure that we are engaging members across the country and at all levels of training and all types of practice. So whether you're in rural practice or academia, we want to make sure that the content and the structure is equally available and representative of you. So with the creation of the educational guidelines, with diversifying the membership, with diversifying the leadership, naturally, 
those things have been incorporated in the annual meeting, which makes it more diverse and open to all. So I think there are a number of things that have to change for DEI to really become an embedded uh, value in an organization. And it goes from putting out statements that we support an anti-racist position or we support gender equity to actually doing something, which I think the nominating process and changes and the committee structure changes um, and these educational guidelines are all actions that are important and will help. Maybe one day the DEI committee won't be necessary at all because it will be a part of the soul of the organization. And so we don't have to worry about tactics to include or be inclusive. It's just part of our DNA. I went to a protest march a number of years ago. There were a lot of signs, I can't believe I still have to protest this. And to get beyond that, the culture really has to change and we have to change. We have to be able to look at ourselves and our organizations honestly and be open-minded about making changes.